Should I start uh, to talk about the end game that uh, I was talking about in my uh, video, uh, Make Tarkov Great Again? I was reading comments. There was a lot of people that completely missed the point of what I'm trying to say. I'm not gonna repeat the same things that I said in that video. I hope that most of you already watched the video because, you know, I was not talking about the problems like casual problems that are killing us every single day. I was talking about the end game problems with like pistol metas and all of that shit, you know? I was talking about the end game currency, how it would be cool to have some kind of a end game currency. And I kind of have a feeling like Battleset Games started to do that, but they postponed it. The way how end game should be designed is first thing removing physical bitcoins from pounding raid from raids you cannot find physical bitcoin inside of the raids not even one single bitcoin same thing goes with tetris no tetris bartering for for uh Bitcoin. The only way how you can get Bitcoin is via hideout. That is it. You can gain Bitcoin from the hideout and of course you cannot sell it on flip. And with that Bitcoin that you're getting in the hideout, you're able to purchase top tier things. Slicks, VSSs, uh, Vals, Fast MPs, all of that good shit. Because right now you're doing what? You're getting the bitcoins to sell it to the therapist so you can buy slicks and whatever the hell, right? It is gonna throttle slicks from flea market. It is gonna throttle tier one things from flea market. You know what I mean? And that is the reason why pistol runners are pistol runners. That is the reason why hatchet runners are hatchet runners. That is the reason why uh, there is such a big gap in between Churesh tier guns and top tier guns and in this part of the wipe everyone if you're not running tier one things you're gonna die sure there are gonna be always people that are gonna say yeah but you the kai one tap with the five seven yeah you do you do but five seven is a meme give two average joes five seven and any kind of a fast rpm gun average joe with the fast rpm gun is gonna win the 57 uh, average job Ju they just affect the current state of the game the, the gap in between in in between the gear is so big it is ridiculous you know the damage output the performance output and i do not even want to talk about skills i do not even want to talk how skills are overpowered i'm talking specifically bullets mags mods weapons recoil that is it you know and i'm not just saying weapons and uh, armor and uh and uh, helmets i'm talking about the drugs also tier one drugs in the game should also be throttled where you can buy medical bag we are gonna get medical bag in near future where therapist is selling for five bitcoins 24 drugs inside of their uh inside of the medic medical punch something like that all of the tier one shit you know what i mean i have no problems where better loot that end game gear drops from the bosses from the boss when you kill the boss like thermal give glucar thermal whatever but uh even if you give that top tier gear to the bosses and they should give tier one gear to the bosses so there is at least some kind of a way to get it when you cannot buy it on the flea right but you can sell those items on the flea just with the bitcoin for example not with the money not with the currency you can put thermal or slick that you got from blue car and you can put it on flea but explicitly with the bitcoin with nothing else no rubles anything works it is so flexible you can make it on so many different ways to make it right with just having the end game like explicit end game currency that you cannot get with hatchet running and with pistol running it is gonna endorse people to use good gear so they can kill bosses with the good gear so they can sell that good gear for the end game currency because it has zero sense where you can hatch it run led in the shoreline sell the ledex and then buy slick 
the curve of that kind of a progression is completely broken and imbalanced. And people with a lot of hours in this game, they will not play with my builds. They will not play with the armor class 4. They will not play with the uh, Ding Dong helmet. They will not play with the uh, 5.4539 AK. They're gonna pistol run until they farm up enough currency for the tier 1 loadout. And then they're gonna go inside of the raid with that tier 1 loadout. And then they're gonna play that loadout until they die. It is just way more efficient to play the game on that way than torturing yourself with the mediocre gear because you're gonna die much, much more often. And it seems like you're investing your money where you're running budget runs and you're gonna have a low risk, high reward kind of a scenario, but you actually won't. Because with the armor class 4 and armor class 3 and the mediocre tier 3, tier 4 guns, you're gonna actually lose even more money because you're gonna die much, much more. Just because of the fact that the modifications for the guns are expensive. You can buy VSS, you can fully deck out VSS, you're gonna waste how much currency? You're gonna spend 200k for a fully decked out VSS with a 30 rounder that costs a lot, right? And you're gonna squad wipe. Or you can build two mid tier 3 guns, like 54539s, for the same amount of money. If you wanna go with the with a really good AK, 54539, you're gonna invest 100k rubles in that gun. And you will die against VSS, you know? So, people that are actually experienced players in the game, uh, what do you think, why do you see level 45, uh, level 50 pistol runners? Because they know how to get money. And they know how to sell those things to buy best in slot gear. Veteran players, good players, they do not play with the trash gear. They're gonna run cancer runs, and then with those cancer runs, they're gonna buy best in slot gear, and then they're gonna use that best in slot gear for uh, kills. It is just way more efficient to play the game like that, you know? I'm completely aware why people are doing that shit, you know? And I'm still not doing it. Yes, you will see me running Tech Tech and TC and VSS here and there, but you will also see me running uh, mediocre gear. My stash was full of uh, Armor 4 uh, gear, dude. Out of 50 raids, 40 raids are gonna be Armor Class 4, you know? I have no problems with dying, you know? The only people that are uh, playing gear that I'm using are people that are extremely fucking bored, me, by the way, and people that do not know better. That's it. So, even if nothing changes, changes in the game even if they do not care about the things that i'm trying to say you should care and you should learn from the things that i'm saying and you should start uh practicing pistol runs and you should start practicing uh high loot areas because you need what one to maybe two good pistol runs that are actual zero risk actual fucking zero risk right and then you can farm up for the best in slot gear and then you can just buy that best in slot gear and you can go in a raid and you're gonna have more fun than playing with the mediocre gear you know at least i think so the thing is that you have so many different ways to grind the currency with the pistol runs you can run shoreline uh stash runs you can run shoreline uh rooms for the lead axes fuck man you can run hatchet runs where the red key cards are spawning after 100 runs of unlucky runs, you're gonna have that one lucky run where you're gonna find the red card key and you're gonna sell it and then you can buy all of the slicks of the world. You know what I mean? Even scav runs, like even going on the scav run on the shoreline stash runs, scav runs interchange uh, stash runs, PMC interchange uh, stash runs. It is just way more profitable to just go with zero zero risk uh, pistols that can like luckily one tap one tap the guy with like you know if you wanna go like with the AKs at this very state just don't mod them seriously I have in my mind even better scenario how it should be done but it is kind of pointless to even uh, talk about that because it would be too much of a work you know this suggestion that I am giving can be implemented in the game in one week because all of the things that i just said are already in the game it is already in the code it just has to be sorted out a little bit differently that is it you know and please if you're one of those guys that are saying it's just a beta bro it's just this it, just stop stop with that fucking bullshit it is just beta bro 
because we are playing beta for years now, okay? And the thing that I'm saying right now can be implemented in one week and it can be used for many, many, many years to have a better experience in Tarkov, no matter what patch it is. It has nothing to do with the fucking netcode, it has nothing to do with the spawns, it has nothing to do with the goddamn anything. They have data, they have sheets, they have analytics, they know exactly who is buying what and what is popular, what is not. Those things that are increasing people's kill death ratio, those things that are increasing uh, people's uh, survival rate, those things should be fucking locked behind the end game currency. And uh, everyone is gonna have much more fun in Tarkov. Everyone. There you go. Those are my couple of cents. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about those things that I was just saying?